Hello everyone. I'm pleased for the opportunity to have this presentation. First of all, please let me introduce myself. My name is Masakazu Gotou. I'm in charge of technical department at Function Bay Japan. Today, I would like to talk about dynamic simulation of gear transmission system using multi-body dynamics. I will introduce a new approach of dynamic simulation for gear transmission system using multi-body dynamics, which enables engineers to develop gear transmission system considering various conditions. I have divided my presentation into four sections. First, I'd like to give you an introduction of Ricardine drivetrain solution. Secondly, I'm going to talk about an example of this application. Thirdly, I will move on to a verification of this gear contact calculation approach. And finally, I will summarize this presentation. I'd like to start talking about an introduction of Ricardine drivetrain solution, which makes it possible to simulate drivetrain system reasonably in the general purpose multibody dynamics software Ricardine. Multibody dynamics is a simulation method that calculates dynamic behavior of a mechanical system in time domain considering forces applied on multiple bodies. Ricardine have been used widely in various industrial fields including automobiles, construction machines, printing machines, home electric appliance products, and precision instruments. Application examples in the automobile field are shown on the right side of this page. As you can see, Ricardine can be used for various types of motion analysis. Next, I'd like to introduce a new function of Ricardine to simulate gear transmission system behavior. Nowadays, NV problem in the drivetrain area is becoming serious more and more because BEV and HEV are becoming popular in the automotive industry. Noise and vibration caused by gear contact is transmitted to a chassis through shafts, bearings, and housing case. And Mesh misalignment is one of the major sources of NV in a gear transmission system. Mesh misalignment is caused by the formation of shafts on which gears are attached or a slight move of shafts. To simulate this situation precisely, the following four factors must be considered in this modeling. Variable mesh stiffness by gear deformation and changing number of teeth under meshing. Consideration of bending deformation and torsional deformation of shaft. Consideration of bearing stiffness under combined load applied on a bearing. Consideration of housing case deformation under applied load. And in particular, gear contact calculation with high accuracy is required in these factors because vibration is mainly excited by gear contact. For this purpose, Function Bay has developed a new solution named Ricardine Drivetrain for NV of gear transmission system. Ricardine Drivetrain consists of the following functions. Ricardine Shaft. This can build a shaft model which considers bending and torsional deformation using beam element which is a general function of Ricardine for flexible body modeling. Ricardine Bearing KS. This can build a bearing model which considers bearing stiffness under combined load of axial load and radial load applied on a bearing. Keysoft module is integrated in this function. Ricardine gear KS. This can build a gear model which considers variable mesh stiffness caused by gear teeth deformation and changing number of teeth under meshing. Keysoft module is integrated in this function. Combining Ricardine drivetrain and general function of Ricardine for flexible body, gear transmission system behavior can be simulated reasonably even considering housing case deformation. Now we move on to the next part. I'm going to introduce dynamic simulation of transmission system as an application example. At first, I show you a simulation model of motorbike transmission in the case that rotational velocity is constant. In this model, crankshaft is rotated at constant velocity and loaded torque is applied on counter shaft. Power is transmitted from shaft to shaft by gear pair contact in which variable mesh stiffness is considered. 
you can see simulation result which are animation and graph on this page. This graph shows time domain result of gear contact force, bearing reaction force, and reaction force measured at a point where the housing case is fixed. X-axis is time and Y-axis is force. Blue plot data shows a calculated result of gear contact force. Green one is a result of bearing reaction force. And red one is a result of reaction force measured at the fixed point of housing case. In this simulation model, meshing frequency is 567.6 Hz. The graph on this page shows FFT result of gear contact force, bearing reaction force, and reaction force measured at the fixed point of housing case. In this graph of gear contact force, five peaks can be observed which are harmonics of first to fifth orders. Also, these five peaks at harmonics frequencies can be observed for bearing reaction force either. In addition, these five peaks of harmonics can be observed for reaction force at the fixed point of housing case even though the peak of first order is a bit small. From these results, it is no doubt that vibration excited by gear contact is transmitted to housing case through shafts and bearings. Moving on to the next page. I show you a simulation model in which rotational velocity variance is considered. This simulation model is almost the same as the former constant velocity model. Only difference is driving input. Combustion load is defined on the piston and this input drives crankshaft in this model. Because of this modeling, rotational velocity of crankshaft is not constant but fluctuating as you can see green plot in this graph. This is a graph which shows the comparison of two results with different conditions. Rotational velocity of crankshaft is constant in one condition. In another condition, rotational velocity variance caused by combustion load defined on the piston is considered. X-axis is rotational angle of counter shaft and Y-axis is force. Blue plots are result of constant velocity case and orange plots are result of velocity variance case. Comparing this result, the force amplitude of the velocity variance case is larger than that of constant velocity case and is varying in a random order. This page shows comparison of these two FFT results. FFT results showed that meshing frequencies are different and sidebands exist in velocity variance condition. It is usual for real mechanical system that driving conditions like rotational velocity are not constant. Dynamic analysis employing multibody dynamics can simulate transmission system with this kind of complex conditions, while static analysis cannot consider these kind of realistic conditions. This is a graph which compares simulation result of misalignment and TE. X-axis is rotational angle of counter shaft and Y-axis is twist, tilt, and TE. Regarding twist and tilt, amplitude of misalignment in velocity variance condition is larger than that in constant velocity condition and is irregularly bearing. As for TE, two waveforms are mostly similar but amplitude in velocity variance condition becomes partially larger than that in constant velocity condition. Because TE is a one of causes which excite vibration, I suppose that not only steady state but also transient state should be considered when you evaluate NV problem of a transmission system. Moving on to the next part, I'd like to introduce a verification case of gear contact calculation. In this section, simulation result and measured result are compared for the purpose of verification in which the feasibility of the gear contact calculation is investigated. Transmission error amplitude and waveform of simulation result are compared with the measured result which are shown on a paper titled Measurement of Helical Gear Transmission Error and Improvement of Analytical Method by Yoshikawa et al. And Table 1 shows the specification of drive and driven gears used in this verification and measured data of misalignment.
Though slight misalignment exists in the condition of measurement, at first, I show the comparison between measured result and simulation result without misalignment. X-axis is progress of meshing, and Y-axis is TE. Blue plots are simulation result, and black plots are measured result. This figure is based on the reference from the paper by Yoshikawa et al. In the case that the misalignment is not considered in simulation, the amplitude and waveform of transmission error is completely different. Next, I show the comparison between measured result and simulation result with misalignment. X-axis is progress of meshing and Y-axis is TE. Blue plots are simulation result and black plots are measured result. In the case that misalignment is considered in simulation, the tendency that the triangle-shaped waveform become more clearer with increasing torque can be observed. In addition, although the amplitude of the simulation result is slightly smaller than the measured result, the amplitude does not vary even if loaded torque is increased. Therefore, this simulation result coincides with description. The amplitude of transmission error is less subject to loaded torque in the case of involute tooth surface, which is reported by Yoshikawa et al. As a prediction method of dynamic behavior of gear transmission system, multibody dynamics approach, which can include stiffness variation of gear contact, is introduced together with its verification results. The conclusion are as follows. New approach using multibody dynamics for gear contact calculation can consider mesh stiffness variation caused by gear deformation and changing number of teeth engaged. This approach can simulate and evaluate the system behavior in which vibration is excited by gear contact and is transmitted to housing case through shafts and bearings. Dynamic behavior of gear transmission system can be calculated considering transient condition using multibody dynamics approach. Traditionally, gear transmission simulation has been done statically rather than dynamically. But, because gear transmission of BEV or HEV are used under various driving conditions, simulation of transient response is more important than before. Multibody dynamics is suitable for this kind of mechanical system simulation. And Rikadine drivetrain enables engineers to develop gear transmission system considering various transient conditions dynamically. That concludes my presentation. Thank you very much for taking the time to join today.